Well, this TVR Tamora doesn't even have to move to make it feel like a real sports car. But it would be a shame not to take it for a little spin. much further up the price scale at 36 grand but in terms of driver aids it's back with the race bread elise so there's no electric roof no airbags and no abs or traction control to dilute the driving experience which is a bit of a worry because with 350 bhp it's got twice the power of the lotus but with a car that looks and sounds like this who cares? Like the Honda, the TVR has its entire interior devoted to the business of driving, with everything cowled round towards me. But unlike its Japanese rivals, I'm delighted to see that the boys from Blackpool have yet to discover the pleasures of plastic. Indeed, there isn't a single piece of it anywhere to be seen. Instead, there's a deluge of leather, aluminium and suede, all centred around these fantastic dials, which in true TVR tradition provide all the basic information in a sort of ass about face way, with the rev counter on the right moving anti-clockwise and the speedo providing as little information as possible. But it's still brilliant, because along with the sound of that engine, you can never forget you're in a TVR. Unfortunately, much as I love the TVR Tamora's outlandish styling and brutish nature, its lack of driver aids and boisterous character won't be for everyone.